It's that time once again. Thank you for joining me, Movie Maniacs, here on The Final Cut. I am your host, Mark the Movie Man, and today on The Block, we've got a, an interesting, adorable horror comedy in the form of Hell's Kitty. It's based on a web series by Nicholas Tana, who gives us the feature film, which he directed and wrote and starred in. And this film, based on his series, tells the story of Nick, who is an L.A. writer who has a cat who's very possessive and he believes is possessed for whenever he brings a, uh, a, a possible potential partner home with him for the evening something bad truly happens that involves the cat the cat doesn't want anyone near its owner apparently and we see the trials and tribulations and troubles uh, that this little kitty causes nick uh, this is an uh, adorable, fun, tongue-in-cheek uh, movie that is done in sections similar to the way uh, probably the web series is episodically. I haven't seen the web series yet. I, I need to check it out. But here we oh, with have Nick con talking about his cat to his psychologist, and, and he in between that we get the scenes of various incidences that have happened with the cat. So much like a web series, almost like an anthology type thing and and I liked that I liked how that played out it kind of broke things up a bit now Nicholas Tana does a great job in here as well as Adam Ruscio as Adam uh, but who does appear in here is just all kinds of familiar indie film uh, stars and cult horror stars and stuff that show up in here we've got Doug Jones showing up in probably one of my best and favorite scenes in this film he shows up with uh bill oberis jr uh two of my favorite actors in the same scene together tell you i i got a static for it and it's hilarious as they play two priests who try to exorcise the cat it, it's just a fantastic scene that had me rolling these two played off of each other well it was great seeing both of these actors together in this scene and that had to be fun time to shoot and yeah i just that was was really probably my favorite segment in this film but there's a lot of great segments in here there's an interesting one that involves Nina Hartley showing up as a therapist if you will hi, uh, hired by Nick's buddy Adam uh, but she's not quite what she seems you got Michael Berryman showing up in here Courtney Gaines uh, you've got Kelly Maroney uh, Victoria DeMar Lynn Lowry yes Lynn Lowry shows up in here it was great to see her on screen uh, Chanel Ryan Lisa Younger Nina K there's so many people in this film that pop in and out of his apartment uh, and it, it was fun seeing him. This, this film is taking itself not too seriously though there is some serious gore in here particularly a couple scenes one involving an eye and the kitty which uh, yeah <laughs> will probably get a little bit of a gross out from some folks. Uh, the cat is great actor as well. I loved its performance. It, it, you know, Kept its fur nice and uh, I like the costuming of the cat as well. <laughs> uh, and cat's name was Angel and this is a fun film it, I think it's, it's it's supposed to be just a light horror comedy that's made for indie horror fans who like to see uh, people they love in like a cameo type uh, scenario and, and yeah uh, the ADR I think maybe was a little distracting at times uh, but I think there's at least one or two segments in here you'll enjoy and what's also great about the segments is they're done in different horror styles so like there's a scene involving the shower it goes black and white, and it kind of leads to the plot of the story, too, a, a subplot, which I liked. It wasn't just there for, sh you know, sh uh, shtick. And there's a few other segments as well that really lend themselves to, you know, uh, a past famous horror films. So they're kind of giving a nod to those films as well. So overall, I think this is a fun, uh, adorable horror comedy with blood, uh, eyeballs, and a cute kitty. So... There you have it, folks. Hell's Kitty. Check it out. If you have seen it, leave your comments down below. Love to hear your thoughts on it. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. I appreciate your support. And until next time, remember, keep that ticket stub.